designers with her. That's right. And see if uh, Bridget, have you been able to work Bridget, any magic with what we came I'm up with? I'm sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't apologize to me. This gentleman, <laughs> this of course is Rudy. He is currently taking. Um, he's taking our sweet, sweet oh, yeah. storyline. We're going to check in with him in a second. You guys are not going to want to miss this. As well, though, this over here is Bob, and Bob is. Fear I don't know if Jason, if you could come on over here and see this because he is creating a comic strip with you two as the leads and myself, I believe. Wow. And let's just check in with Bob and find out where he's got right now. <laughs> um, well, it says here, now that squirrel can water ski. You sure can, Rob. <laughs> and then it goes to the field reporter and she's going to be interviewing, you know, the, the super the battle downtown <laughs> while they destroy the city and she gets the story. Oh, Bob, I love my quaff. Look at that. Bing. And Rob, you got a little quaff there too. And Michelle, a little tiny quaff. Yeah. <laughs> so, kind of altered everybody a little bit. That's great. We're, and we'll be checking in with him throughout the morning, guys. But let's check in with this man who is just probably cursing our our hilarious plot line that we've given him. This is Rudy, of course. Rudy, um, first of all, reiterate for our viewers, if you will, what our plot line is, what your task at hand. All right. Uh, w what I'm doing is uh, you gave me the suggestions of uh, a, a superheroine who uses egg-related powers. I've decided to name her Amaletta, okay. and uh, she's going to be fighting the almighty Beano Man. <laughs> And this is all going to be taking place in Viking, Alberta. So Fighting evil powers with flatulence. I love it. Um, this is a, a preliminary design of her. Is that her? Just, this is just a quick sketch as, long, as well as uh, some uh, preliminary dialogue of how, uh, how I'm going to have the story go. It's basically going to be pretty simple. Uh, starting off in the city, evil villain doing his evil laugh, going wah ha 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 and, and exclaiming to the world his, his evilness. And then, of course, the superheroine will, not so fast and come in and then uh, beat them up. <laughs> With her omelets, because that is sweet. We are, of course, here at Happy Harbor Comics. We're going to be checking in with them all morning long. This, of course, is Jay. He is the owner of this. I just wanted to, I just pulled a couple of these just to, before we get to our next uh, guests quickly down there. Um, these are some of the, the fabulous comics that can be found here. If you can just go through, these are great comics. Sure. Like back in the, in the 60s, it was very, very popular to make comic books based off of TV personalities or films or shows. So here we have, uh, I was lucky to get from a collection at one point, we've got you know, the adventures of Bob Hope, and we've got uh, Jerry Lewis, uh, and Jerry Lewis meets Wonder Woman kind of deals. We have comics based on Milton Berle, Uncle Milty comics, which ran, and then Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis together. Um, so yeah, it was funny. very, very cool. And then they did a lot of stuff like Ripley's Believe It or Not had their own line of comics, uh, Lost in Space, the Space Family Robinson from back in the 60s, and of course, from a character that was created almost, I think, in the early 30s, Felix the Cat. Awesome. Uh, had a lot of comics. So there was just so much done. Awesome. We're going to take a little trip down here quickly because, um, and while we're walking and Jason is taking in the store, talk about these two gentlemen that were coming down here to meet because there's a huge local uh, scene happening here in terms of up and coming comic writers. A lot of people here are able to produce their own work, which is totally cool. That's one of the things we try to do here is uh, build a community uh, and bring people together who want to create their own books and tell their own stories. So uh, what we have with us today is uh, Ivan and and Mark, and they're from actually a wrestling federation called PWA, and of course, wrestling, superheroes, comic books, everything just kind of goes hand in hand. So they actually produce their own comic uh, based on the wrestlers within their federation. All right, so hello, gentlemen, and tell me about this. Hold up that comic again. Tell me all about it. Well, the whole story is basically the wrestlers' lives, what they do, and how they live outside of the ring. And so this gentleman, of course, has a belt on. What is the belt for? I am the current PWA Cruiserweight Champion. And having wrestled for the PWA for five years, my character was one of the main influences on the comic. Now that is so, seriously. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so that, talk, I mean, break it down. Oh, that's him right there. Yeah. yeah. That's me. It's um, basically just kind of went over, talked with some of the guys, and came up with some ideas of where the story was going to go. And where do we find this comic? This is, uh, I'm, what's the reaction been to it? Uh, the reaction has been really strong. The fans of wrestling have really liked it. And as well as just regular comic people have sort of given us good reviews. And so how do you feel being a comic superhero inspiration in the wrestling world, man? I would say it's a dream come true, but anybody who even dreams they'd be a comic book character has got to be out of their mind, so I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> that is great. Where can people find this? Uh, they can get it right here at Happy Harbor. So you guys are local comic writers. You are success stories. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
<laughs> we'll be seeing somebody kick your uh, pretty soon in the next comic edition. Uh, maybe, but on February the 3rd, we got our next show at Nate Main Campus Gym, and you can check it out at pwrestling.ca. We will be checking it out, checking you out, as always, I'm on your tail. And we'll be right back after this. This is totally cool. We've got more stuff going on. We've got a band coming up next. And, of course, we'll find out how our latest greats comic is coming together here from Happy Harbor Comics on 124 from Jasper. Right back after this with news, weather, traffic, and a whole lot more superhero action.